one I did they said they couldn't see me or hear my voice hi Kathy good morning oh you can hear me I was trying to do a video earlier and people said they couldn't see or hear I wonder what happened the devil is a liar Enough. so you can hear me and you can hear the music right is the music too loud Enjoy the music a little bit first. lowered it a little bit so this morning I was taking my son to school and then the Holy Spirit was telling me there's time for everything like that scripture just kept coming to my mind there's time for everything there's time for everything because yesterday I was a little um, down because of some things that had happened the day before so today was just telling me that whatever you're feeling now there's just time for everything it's gonna pass and then it says in everything give thanks to God no matter what the situation is and then he gave me this song that is playing now you are wonderful you we give you glory Lord as we honor you the song just kept playing and playing I had to start singing it you know how when a song is just from nowhere this is not one of my popular songs that I sing it just it's like a song that God just wants me to sing today. I even posted it on Facebook. Can y'all still hear me? Let me know if you can hear and see me, okay? Because I don't know what's wrong with Facebook today. The fool. So I'm going to share that scripture with you guys. The one that the Holy Spirit gave me. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1 to 8. I know you guys already know it because it's popular. But I'm going to read it anyway. We give you glory, Lord. It says, To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born, and a time to die. A time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill, and a time to heal. A time to break down, and a time to build up. A time to weep, and a time to laugh. A time to mourn, and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones. A time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get, and a time to lose. A time to keep, and a time to cast away. A time to rent, and a time to sow. A time, a time to keep silence, and a time to speak. A time to love, and a time to hate. A time of war, and a time of peace. Thank you, ladies. So whatever you're going through right now, are you in your time of sorrow? Or are you in your time of silence? Or are you depressed right now? What is it that you're going through? This God is saying that 
this is not gonna be a permanent time it's gonna fade it's gonna pass away and whatever you're going through now is not something that is new people have gone through it it's just a phase it will fade away but the part that I really like was when he said that no matter what you're going through always give thanks I don't know how that just blended with it you know when the Holy Spirit is ministering to you he just <laughs> Everything just works out perfectly. The next scripture he gave me was 1 Thessalonians 5.18. In everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Now it may be hard for you to give thanks when you're going through something really bad. Because at that point you're not even in the state of mind to praise God. But God is saying that even in that time praise him. Be happy. Don't let the situation weigh you down. Don't praise him when he is when you when things are going well for you he wants you to defeat that situation just imagine let's say something bad happens okay like I'm gonna use Job as an example Job lost everything he had in one day his children all died in one day and the devil was sure that after all that that happened to him that he was going to curse God but surprisingly Job shaved his hair and went down on the floor and started to worship God. He started to praise God. Like, put yourself in the shoes of that man. Would you even try to praise God when you even lose a lot of money? Not to talk about when you lose all your kids. It's so hard, but that's what he did. And the devil was so disappointed because the devil had told God that if he had taken away everything from him, that he was going to curse God. And Job surprised the devil and he didn't do that so whatever situation you're going through it's not worse than what job went through in the bible if you don't know about the story of job just go and read job chapter one down in fact just chapter one alone will give you an idea of what this man went through in one day he lost everything imagine having five thousand dollars in your account and one day your account all your money is gone and not only that your kids not you i'm going to use an example you have two children and all of a sudden the children everything is in one day you're just getting bad news upon bad news the whole day and you're 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 sad but in the midst of the sadness you kneel down and you start to worship god thank you lord you gave all these to me and you're taking it i praise your name I worship you and then the Holy Spirit at that time is telling you to sing this song we give you glory Lord as we honor you are you going to sing it are you going to worship him at that time or are you gonna start saying things like oh God doesn't care about me why why would he let all these things happen to me today what did I do wrong why and you start speaking bad or are you just going to listen to the Spirit and sing that song and just praise God no matter what you go through, it's not as bad as what Job <laughs> went through. I like making reference to that man because when I read about him, I try to put myself in his shoes and I must confess, it is hard. I'm not going to sit here and pretend and say, oh no, I can do it. No, I don't pray that it happens to me or anybody, but that's what he did. And God was pleased. Actually, God was very sure when the devil had approached God telling him that he could take everything away from him. And see, God was so confident. God was so sure that Job was not going to curse him. Like, seriously, I want to get to that point where I can, I can make God, like, be sure of me. I don't want God to be like, well, I don't know about my daughter. She normally goes off and on. Maybe she will... Uh, she might curse me if that happens. I want him to be sure of me. I want him to say, you know what? No matter what happens to that girl, she's not going to curse me. Until you get to that point with God, you haven't really started. Your problem may be very small. Maybe, maybe you got disappointed. Maybe you broke up a relationship. Or maybe... Someone, this, someone, someone lied against you or maybe you lost your job. These are like 
things that can be easily taken care of. But even at that, people get so depressed at these little things and they refuse to worship the Lord. Even when the Holy Spirit is telling them, oh, sing this song or read your Bible or pray now. You just block that off your mind. They're like, nah, this is not the right time. For I, can't, I can't do this right now. I can't do this right now. This morning, yesterday when I did that video, if you watched it, I was crying and I went a little personal in it. I was really down. But I didn't feel any different about God. I still love God. I didn't say anything negative because I know not to do that. But you could tell that my, my heart was heavy. So when I slept, I prayed. I slept so well. I haven't slept this well in a long time. Woke up with pain. My leg was hurting. My hand was hurting. I was like, what happened to me in the dream? Like, did somebody... But you could tell that I didn't sleep as a warrior. I slept vulnerable. I was just... I just slept. So I don't know if I had a... There was a fight in my sleep and maybe I didn't even do anything because when I woke up I couldn't even walk my leg was hurting and I know I didn't go to the gym or anything so I didn't know where that pain came from but I wasn't as vibrant as I was or like I'm all like I always am when I wake up I was I was still kind of down so when I my son was like mommy what's wrong with you why are you limping I said I don't know what's wrong with my leg I, I couldn't figure it out I couldn't even remember the dream that I had that's to tell you how well I slept and when you're for the for some time I haven't been sleeping like that because I'm always alert I'm always conscious of what's happening especially when I was fasting when I was fasting every single noise my spirit wakes me up like I, I, I was alert like I was like but I slept I didn't even open my eyes till it was morning but I woke up with so much pain Maybe I was attacked in the sleep, but of course God is always going to protect his own. But that's just showing you that when you're so depressed and you're down and you let that thing weigh you down, it affects so many things. Even when you sleep, the enemy has starts playing with you and start doing stuff to you. So when I was dropped, taking my son to school, the Holy Spirit kept telling me that there's time for everything. What you're feeling now, there's a time for this snap out of it snap out of it snap out of it that scripture came to me and while i was reading that scripture it now said but no matter what time you're in always make sure you give thanks to god and now i want you to sing this song we give you glory the song just started singing in my head like there was music playing in my head it started singing and singing and i started singing it from my mouth when you allow the spirit to lead you it will always lead you to the right path. It will always make you do the right thing. All of a sudden, when I was singing that song, I started to smile. I started to speak in tongues. I started to feel relieved. I started to feel happy. I started to feel good. I felt like something just left me. I felt strong again. So no matter what you're going through, listen to the Spirit. Let the Spirit lead you. Leave it in the hands of God. It's not the first time someone is going through stuff like that. People have gone through a lot of stuff, even worse than that, and they survived it. So you're going to survive. Just praise God. Turn on worship music. Go around your house. Praise God. Even in your office, put something in your ear. Listen to worship song. Praise Him. Smile. The devil will be so confused. He will be like, I thought I, thought, I, thought I heard that right now. I thought she was already... Nah, this girl is kind of weird. How did she just switch like that? Surprise him. Surprise him. Do not fall for his tricks. Devil doesn't have anything good to offer. He's always wanting us to be depressed. He's always wanting us to feel sad. He's always wanting us to feel like God doesn't love us. That is not of God. God would not make you feel that way. God wants you to feel love, peace, kindness, meekness, gentleness. All the good things. That's the spirit of God. It calms you down. It wants you to be patient. It wants you to mind what you say. It wants you to think before you speak. 
God's spirit is the good spirit. Whatever spirit is making you act a certain way, making you feel bad, making you yell at people, making you feel like everybody hates you, that is of the devil. And that's the time that you get in trouble because there are some things that you might say that you may hurt people and you may never be able to take it back. So let the Holy Spirit lead you. Let him guide you. If he says sing a song right now, just sing it. Just singing that song will change everything. Like that song will change. I felt so good when I was singing that song today. I was just singing to myself like I was in the church and I was singing to the congregation. I was singing it and then all of a sudden my tongue, I started speaking in tongues. I couldn't even control the tongue. It was a different tongue that I was speaking. I was happy in my spirit. The whole feeling of that sadness was gone. Devil would have been like, oh my God, I lost her again. Ah. Oh. I need to try harder. We're children of God. God doesn't want us to, 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 to fall for the prank of the devil. That's why he's always trying to speak to us. But some of us don't want to listen to that voice. Some people, when they're going through a little thing, maybe when they're arguing with their husband or their wives or somebody or their whoever, and the spirit is telling them at that time, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Start to sing praise. They're like, no, I'm not singing any praise. I'm not coming down. I have to deal with this right now. You ignore that voice. And then you, you start continuing to fight or argue. And then before you know it, it leads to something else. Some people get killed in that process. They start getting physical and somebody dies. But the spirit tried to warn you. It's telling you that it's time for everything. Even people that lose children. What can they do? God gave you that child. God take it, is taking it back. Just thank him. He'll give you another one. Even if he doesn't give you another one. That's fine. He knows why he's doing that. We can't question him. Look at Job. Job lost everything. And not only that. The devil came back and made that man sick. But he still didn't cuss God. Even his wife was like. Why are you still praising this God? Cuss him and die. Can't you see that he has left you? He said no. He refused. Just be like that man. So that God can be, be sure of you. He will say, you know what? That girl right there, I don't care what you do. She's never going to curse me. That's how I want to be with God. If you have always fought with the spirit of God. If you've always been stubborn and you've not listened to him. Today, I want you to start begging for forgiveness. And this includes me too. Because I'm not perfect. Father Lord, I pray that you forgive me. Forgive us. For not always listening to your spirit. For not always doing what we're supposed to do in times of difficulty. For listening to the voice of the devil instead of your voice. Forgive us, O oh Lord. Have mercy on us, O oh God. Help us, Lord. Help us. Strengthen us. We're not perfect. Help us defeat that voice of the devil. In the name of Jesus. Forgive us. We promise to do better Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So today I want you guys to sing this song wherever you are. Wherever you are. This is the song for the day. You are one. Let me bring it out a little bit. You are worthy. I want to. I want to bring it started from the beginning. We're gonna sing it a little bit. If anybody has a special prayer request, go ahead and post it so I can pray for you. Okay. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. This song is not even one of the songs that I will sing on a normal day. It just, it just get playing in my head. Like, God knows the right songs for the right time. He knows the songs that he needs. Um, a pastor was saying that God cannot sing praises to himself. He cannot sing worship to himself. That that's what he wants us to do. So all we can do is sing praises to God. 
sing worship songs to him. He likes it. Just imagine you sing a song and just imagine you in front of God or God is probably moving his head like this and he's just happy. He's singing. Good job, girl. And then he will send his angels, hey, go take care of that situation for, for her. Because she's doing the right thing right now. Make sure that that situation doesn't get worse. F fix it. But if, if things get worse and you're cursing, you're mad, you're this, God is looking at you like this. Let's just be real. Let's picture this. If <laughs> We don't even need anybody to tell us this. If I had a son, um, or if I have a, a, I have a son, let's say my son is going through stuff and he knows times without number that I've always come through for him. I've always come through for him. And he's going through another problem. And instead of calling me to help him, he's like, mommy, I don't know why you're letting this happen to me. I don't even know if you love me. And I'll be like, but I've, I've helped you all this while. I've always helped you. But if he says, my mother got this, my mother's going to help me, I'm just going to praise my mom because she got this, I'll be proud, I'll be happy. I'll feel like he appreciates all I've done for him and he knows how powerful I can do. I can be to help him. That's how it is with God. That's how it we shouldn't just let a situation make us start to doubt him. You know what I mean? Like, no situation is too difficult for him. No situation is too difficult for him. I know that as I'm doing this video, he's he's smiling. Because this is what he wanted me to do. The first video I did, the devil, I don't know what he was doing. But people, people could not hear me or see, see what I see me. That's never happened before. But today it happened. I had to come back online again to defeat this devil. Because he doesn't want people to hear what I had to say today. No time, whatever time it is that you're in, even if something bad happened, even if you don't have a dollar, it's okay. Praise God. Praise Him. What are you going to do? If you curse God because you're broke, is that going to change anything? If I were you, I'll praise Him instead. Because that will change everything. You are one. The fool, you are worthy, oh Lord. You are the fool, you are worthy, oh. Hataya boko se tere ha ha, he a pose te kere ha ha. You guys need to sing this song today. I don't know why this song, but I'm just gonna obey and sing it, sing it. Sing it. I know heaven is rejoicing right now as I'm playing this song. Just live your life in obedience. Obey God. Obey the Holy Spirit. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. And see what will happen. If I hadn't listened to the voice of God today, if I hadn't listened to the Holy Spirit and I hadn't done this, I probably still would have been moody today. Do you know what, that, what would have happened in my moody state? But look at me now, I'm all happy. I don't even remember what happened anymore. I feel like praying for people. I feel like doing things of God. I'm just feeling afresh again. Like, like this is all new again. God knows how to make you feel refreshed. The devil wants to kill it. He wants to kill your shine. He wants to dry up your anointing. He wants to just... He wants to put... He wants to just mess you up. He wants you to say things that you cannot take back. He wants you to do things that you will regret. He wants you to embarrass yourself. He wants the world to see that you're not reliable. You can't let him win. 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 Just thank God. Praise him. I thank you. I thank you guys for watching all the time. Thank you guys for watching. This is the only song that I'm going to sing today. Does anyone have a... I can't pay at all. Oh, I'm reading your comments. Let me see some of your comments. Glory, Lord. 
As you. God bless you for watching, Regina. Kathy. As we honor you. Christopher. Olari Waju. Meg. Adele K. Peter. Gladys. Dada. You are Victoria. You are one. I can't stop thanking him. Even in my sleep, I thank him. Patience. That's right. That's right. That's right. Meg says, I can't pay at all. Be glorified and be exalted, oh God. Oh my God. That's right. We can't pay. Adeyemi says, Thank you, Lord, for everything. I'm grateful. Meg says, I owe you, Lord. We owe him all we owe him is our praise and our worship. This past this pastor that I was listening to, he said, God cannot praise himself. God cannot sing to himself. That that's our job. That's our job. That's our job to sing to God and to praise him. He can't give praises to himself. Because if he keeps giving praises to himself, it, it will feel like he's boasting. <laughs> but he, that's what he created us for. To worship him. To praise him. And you know when you're in the mood of worship and praise, it's like, it's like there's nothing bothering you anymore. You feel light. You feel like... You feel like you're in heaven. And you forget that you even had something that was bothering you. You've defeated the devil. It's not always about pray, 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 pray. Sometimes you may not even have to pray. All you have to do that day is just worship, praise. That's it. God will just be moving his head like this. It doesn't matter how your voice is. He doesn't care. He gave you that voice. He just wants you to praise him. He'll be doing this. When you make him happy, tell me why he's not going to make you happy. You can't make him happy and he will just forget about you. No. He will do something right away. Because you're doing the right thing. Yes. I know it. I know it. Yes. Yes. I don't know about you guys. But if you've wronged him in any way, just make peace with him. If you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, what are you waiting for? It's a good experience. Give your life to God so you can experience all of these stuff. So that God can recognize you. Because as long as you're a sinner, He's not going to hear you. He's not even going to hear your praises. He's not going to hear your worship. He's not going to pay attention to you. He's not going to listen to you. Yesterday I posted a scripture. It says God doesn't listen to sinners. But he listens to his children. The people that are, are born again. So if you're a sinner. You want to make peace with him. Hallelujah. For you are worthy. Oh Lord. I'm so happy you guys are. You guys are thanking God. That's the main purpose of this video. God, thank you so much for making... I feel so happy. I don't have the same way, but I feel like something good is about to happen. You are worthy. Have you heard the words of this song? We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy. You are wonderful. You are worthy to be praised. The Holy Spirit gave me this song to sing today. How did he know that this is a song that I need to sing today? Most of these songs that you guys see people singing, they were inspired by God. Just the same way he taught me that song, Yesha. This artist or the singers, if they tell you their testimony, it's probably God that taught them the song. Because it pleases him. This is a good song. You are worthy. Oh, Lord. Praise him. You are worthy. A 
It's not every time that you will be asking for stuff. Sometimes, don't ask for anything. He already knows what you want, even before you ask. You think he doesn't know? He knows. Some of the things you're asking for, he knows you want even more than that. But he's just waiting. Some of you, he yeah, ha ha, he they post it, teleke ha. Some of you, the reason why you're still in the same situation is because you haven't opened your mouth to praise him. You haven't started to worship him. That's why you're still in that situation. You're angry at him. You're angry at him. I don't know who this is for, but I see somebody. It's like, like, like your hands are crossed together, your face, you're angry. It's like you're mad at God. Like, I don't know what he did to you, but you're angry. You don't want to praise him. You're disappointed. I don't know why you're doing that. Just free up, release yourself, and start to praise him. Nobody's doing voodoo to you. You're the one holding your blessing. Because you won't praise him. I see you. Your hands are folded. Your mouth is like. You're angry. You're angry. You can't be angry at God. Who are you to be angry at him? He created you. He can decide to do whatever he wants in your life. He owns you. You don't own yourself. I used to be like that. I used to be so angry at him. Where did that get me? Appreciate him. Praise him. Just release yourself. I don't know. I saw you. Your hands are tight like this. And your face is like this. You're just angry. Change that look. Free yourself. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Raise your hand up. Praise him. Jump. Shout. Praise him. Praise him. You're watching me. Praise him. Praise him. And see what will happen to you. Your life will change. Your life will change. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I don't feel like leaving. I still want to sing. You are wonderful. At the end. As you can see, I only have this one song that I'm playing. Normally, I will let it go to the next song, but this song has to stay. <laughs> this is the song for today. You are what? Does anyone have a prayer point? I can pray for you. Glory, Lord, as we honor you. Glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy. Oh, Lord. you are wonderful. Somebody say, please don't go. So, God, <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. I just want to praise the Lord. Yes. If you're in Houston, um, next Saturday, not this Saturday, the 17th of December, my friend is having a, an event, Shawls of Hope, and I'll be ministering. It's going to be happening in my church, Royal Place Ministries. If you're in Houston, um, please try to attend. It's from 12 p.m. on Saturday till 4. That will be my second time ministering live. God already told me what he wants me to talk about, so it's going to be... I don't have to practice because he already told me exactly what to say. I listen to the Spirit of God all the time. Sometimes I may stray because I'm not perfect, but most of the time I listen to the Spirit of God. And when I'm in this state, when I'm in this mood, with this worship, when I'm in this state of mind, he tells me a lot of stuff, good things. God doesn't like to dwell in any place where there's anger or jealousy. He doesn't like to dwell where there is sin. He can only dwell in a place like this. And an environment that is inviting him. You know what I mean? You have worship on with a pure heart. Your hands are pure. 
then you will see the presence of God move. Even in churches, there are some churches that there's so much sin in the church that God's presence is not even there. But there's some churches when you go in, you can feel the presence of God because there's so much love there. God cannot dwell in a place, He cannot dwell in a heart that is unforgiving. He cannot dwell, he cannot dwell in a place where there's so much negativity. But he likes to be in a place where there's a lot of worship. Everybody's worshiping with a pure heart. If you if you doubt me, just go ahead and play some worship songs in your house right now. If you're home, if you're home, make sure that you make peace with God, and you will feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. Just do it for hours. Something will happen to you. I promise you. Something will happen. It does that to me all the time. You will start to cry. You can speak in tongues, speak in tongues. <laughs> you will feel the presence of God. You can never see Him come where there is sin. <sighs> oh, God. I'm sorry, Meg, what do you mean by <sighs> He said, <laughs> Meg, you say you have to put on live broadcast. I'm on live now. What's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Whenever I speak to you guys, some of the things I say, they're not my words. So if you're sensitive in the spirit, you need to know when the Holy Spirit is speaking. I'm just telling you now so you know. Because when I get off the video, sometimes I don't even remember what I say. I have to go back and watch them. How can God not be here? Can you hear this song? You are worthy. You are worthy. You are wonderful. Sometimes people just sing worship song in church. And miracles begin to happen without anybody laying hands on anybody. You see people falling under the anointing. Just song, just worship. No pastor laying hands on nobody. To tell you how powerful it is to worship God. It is powerful. God moves when you give him good worship. Don't let anybody deceive you. So if you're going through something right now, whatever time you're in, worship him. And see him move doors will begin to open for you things will begin to happen and all you did was worship you probably didn't even pray you just worshiped him it moves him even it moves him faster than when people pray and when people preach worship gets to him faster he loves it I know this because that's what he's telling me right now so he's telling me right now. Hi -ha. You are worthy, oh Lord. You give glory, Lord. Does anyone have any prayer points? I feel like praying for you today. 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 And whenever I feel down, I don't feel like praying for anybody. And that is bad. Because God wants me, God wants me to always be in the mood to pray for people. He says, freely have you been given. Freely shall you give. Whatever gift he has given me is not for me to use when I feel like. No, when the need arises, I need to be ready to pray for people. But that's how the devil works. He makes you so down. You don't feel like praying for people. You don't want to talk to nobody. You're just in a bad mood. That is not of God. No. No. You are what? You are wonderful. 
wonderful. You are wonderful. You are one. Oh, Lord. Okay, so. <laughs> I, 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 Olari Wajo, you say, do we have idea of thousands of angels happy with what you're doing right now? You are, we are blessed. Amen. I believe you. 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 God is not a difficult God. The process is always going to be the same. If you sin, beg for forgiveness. Make peace with him. Live a righteous life. Pray, worship, read the word. It's the same. He's a principal God. Listen to him. Do what he tells you to do. Not what people tell you to do. What he tells you to do. I had nobody with me today. I was just by myself. But I was talking to the Holy Spirit like I was talking to somebody. Like he was... <laughs> like, I, like, like there was somebody there with me. He gave me scriptures and then he gave me a song. Who needs a friend when you have the Holy Spirit with you? Look at my mood change. Before, if I'm not in a good mood, I'll probably be looking for a friend to call and talk to to see if I'll feel better. Why? When I can talk to God and only him will know my problem. Because sometimes when you call people and you start to tell them your problems, before you know, once you hang up that phone, they're calling somebody else to tell, they're telling the whole world what your problem is. And then you regret it. It puts more problem on you. When you couldn't just call God or listen to that voice telling you how to fix that problem. But we don't want to listen. We don't want to listen. Hi, aha. Johnson, you say you need prayer. Father Lord, I pray for your son, Johnson. Whatever it is that he needs, grant him his heart desires, oh God. Your presence is here, Lord. We're making you happy. We're praising you. We're worshiping you. I'm doing what you've asked me to do today. So please. I want you to do what I'm asking now. Please. I'm not asking for anything for myself. I'm just praying for these people. Your people. They could have been somewhere else. But they chose to watch me. Grant him his heart desires, oh God. Father, let him remember today. Let him know that just because he watched today, his life changed. Let him come back with a testimony, oh God. I don't know what he wants, but you know. In Jesus' name, amen. I need God in my family. Are they in me? Father, they in me says he needs you in his family. Father, Lord, I don't even see how that, that's hard. That's so easy. Are they in me? The first thing you have to do is you have to give your life to God. My hands are shaking. You have to surrender everything to God. I don't know where you're coming from, but everything you've done in the past has been full of regrets. Regrets. Regret, 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 regret. Have to give your life to God, even if you've done it already. Rededicate your life to God. Love Him, love Him with all your heart. Love Him because this is what you need to do. This is the right thing. Don't love Him because you want something from Him. Love Him because. This is what we need to do. We should love him with all our hearts, our mind, our soul, our strength. Stay connected. Look for a church to go, a Bible-believing church. Read your Bible. I always tell people to start reading from the book of Matthew because they tell you about Jesus. If you don't have a Bible, 
install an app on your phone, the Holy Bible. I have it too on my phone. I read it all the time, everywhere I go. Even in the bathroom, I'm reading it. And they have different translations. Sometimes King James may be a little hard for new, be new believers. I like the NLT version. Because I've noticed that the NLT is so close. They don't take away things from it. It's almost exactly the same. Just in a, in a better way to, like, words that I can understand. Read the Bible, pray. But make sure you go to a Bible-believing church. Once you are saved, the rest of your family members will be saved. Because through you, they'll be saved. If you need me to help you, just send me a message. I'll help you. We give you glory, Lord. Berenice, please, please, please pray for my dreams getting blocked. I actually prayed for you earlier today, but I didn't know your dreams are getting blocked. Even me, sometimes I dream, I wake up and I don't remember them. Like last night, I don't remember my dream. But I know that I fought a battle in there. I don't know if... I don't know how it happened, but I woke up with pain all over my body. You know, the devil wants to attack you when you're so down. Because he knows that your guards are not up anymore. That's when he wants to get to you. Don't you see how he's working? The devil is wicked. He's very crafty. <laughs> he's very crafty. <laughs> when you're all excited, praising God, praying, he's just waiting to plant that seed of depression or anger. Or something so that he can come attack you. We're not gonna let him anymore. I pray for Berenice, oh God. If she's dreaming and can't remember, if this is of you, Lord, if you don't want her to remember, so be it. But if you want her to remember, Father Lord, I pray, oh God, whatever spirit, evil spirit that is causing this to happen, I cast it out in the name of Jesus. Begin to remember your dreams in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. There it is. I see you praying for people. Like you're always praying for people. It's like you're always praying for people. Keep it up. It's making God happy. Keep praying for people. And God will bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. We are worthy, oh Lord. So God, generational spell has been broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Generational spell. There's a scripture. There's a scripture. Ha ha. When I was on my two weeks break, I was reading the Ten Commandments. And I got to the part where God said that we shouldn't worship idols. Princess, if Princess Utube is watching, this was in the night. She, while I was reading that, she messaged me on WhatsApp and I shared the scripture with her. I didn't even know that she was already talking about something like this a day before. The spirit led me to send it to her, but I wasn't on Facebook, so I couldn't do a video. But he said in the commandment, he said that if you worship idols, he will, he will place a curse on you and up to your fourth generation. And I started to think, I was like, oh my God, I'm from Nigeria and where we're from, before people started hearing about God, most of our forefathers, they've been like worshiping idols. And so if God really did place a curse on those people, it means it affected them and up to fourth generation. I started to count my generation, I was like, Let's say my great great granddad or great granddad worship idol. Does it mean that I'm cursed? That was deep. I, I became I became scared. I'm like, oh God, a lot of people are on that curse if that's the case. But God is merciful. Yes. This is just from the Bible. 
Not to talk about the ones that people actually do with the voodoo. You know how your forefathers, they do something. Sometimes they think they're doing it for protection, for the family. And then when they die, the voodoo is no longer, the, the, the God that they're serving is no longer being pleased. And the God is pissed off and is killing people in the family or is beginning to place curse on people. Some of them can't get married. Some of them can't have kids. Sins of the father. Generational curses. And you, you probably were not even born in the village. You're probably in America. You got born here. But you notice that your life, however hard you try, is like you're not succeeding. And you can't really figure out what's going on. Until you start to ask questions. So you start to ask questions. And then they start to tell you that, oh, your grandfather was a, a, a voodoo man, or your this thing was this, and there's a God that we had to, we, we abandoned it, and now we're all suffering. A lot of people are going through stuff like this. It's not even their fault. It's not their parents' fault. It's probably not even their grandparents' fault. It's probably their great grandparents that did it father today i break every generational curses in the name of jesus anybody that is watching me that is linked to any family that has pleased their their their, their false gods or that has done something that has that has that has a covenant with some evil god and it's hunting them now Father, today I break that. I break that in the name of Jesus. I free them from that in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I break that in the name of Jesus. They will not suffer for stuff that they don't know about. Have mercy on them, oh God. Remove them. Pull them out of that in the name of Jesus. Pull them out of it in the name of Jesus. I cover them with the blood of Jesus. I break any generational curse. Anything that is linking them to something that their forefathers have done. That is making them suffer. I break it in the name of Jesus. I break it in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire. Consume in the name of Jesus. Free your children, oh God. Free your children, oh God. In the name of Jesus. You said I should ask. Whatever I ask, you will do. I'm asking, oh God. Free them. Free their generation. Free their children. In the name of Jesus. You are powerful, Lord. All these other gods, they are the works of men. You are the only God, Lord. There is none like you, just like that song. Today, I begin to break every curse, every generational curse in the name of Jesus. Restore whatever they've lost. There shall be restoration in the name of Jesus. The devil is a liar. He has no power. He has no power. The devil is evil. He's wicked. I destroy the works of the enemies in their lives in the name of Jesus. I send your, your angels to guide them, protect them, fight for them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Aha. Ha 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 ha. You are worthy. Oh, oh Lord. Please pray for me. Adele K. I don't know what you want me to pray about, but I'll pray. Father Lord, I pray for your daughter, Adele K. I don't know what her prayer point is, but you know, Lord. Whatever it is that our heart desires, oh God. Grant her our heart desires in the name of Jesus. If she is sick, heal her in the name of Jesus. Sickness out of her life in the name of Jesus. Whatever she has lost, she will recover in the name of Jesus. Whoever is planning evil against her, I say back to send her in the name of Jesus. Strengthen her, O oh God. Encourage her, O oh Lord. Provide for her, O oh God. Protect her, O oh God. You love her, Lord. May she fulfill her destiny in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, Lord, you are wonderful. You are worthy. You are wonderful. You are worthy. Oh, Lord, you are wonderful. Christopher says, there is never enough prayer. So, so much. So more pray for me. Chris the dreamer. I love Chris. <laughs> you always make me laugh. You always have a way of making me laugh. I hope you guys pray for me too though. Pray for me. Everybody pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for God to strengthen me. Pray for God to protect me. Thank you for praying for me. Christopher, I pray. I pray that God You are worthy Oh Lord. You are wonderful I pray for you, Christopher. I pray that God will grant you your heart desires in the name of Jesus. I know there's something you're asking God for. I pray that it comes through for you. Don't rush him. Don't rush him. Be patient with him. Be patient with him. But most of all, let his will be done in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ha ha. Okay, one more time. When I when I play this one more time, I promise this will be the last time. And then we can go. More anointing to you there. Patience, thank you for praying for me. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, everybody. It looks like I've covered everybody's prayer points. If I miss yours, let me see. I think I covered everybody. One, as we honor you, yes, Lord, we give you glory, Lord. As we honor, pray for me, please, Tracy. Tracy, Tracy. Glory, Lord, as we are, not you. Father, Lord, I don't know what it is that she wants. I'm waiting for you to speak to me, Lord. Sometimes when you pray to God, you have to pause and see what he says, like, so you can know what he's saying. You may not hear a voice. It could be a feeling. I learned that. Because before I would just pray, 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 pray. But when I pray, I pause, I meditate. To see if he's speaking to me concerning something. That matter. You need to try that. It works. You'll be surprised. You are. The fool, you are worthy, oh Lord. Haya ha poli he stay till a ha ha. He da poko si take it till a ha ha. Who pala he ke se tele boko si till a ha. Tracy, um, what 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 do you what do you do for God? Like, what are your gifts? What talent do you have? If you could just type it. You are worthy. You are wonderful. 
You are worthy, oh Lord. You are one. God bless these people that sang this song. Oh my God, they sound so good. So relaxing. Oh, Tracy, are you there? I'm waiting for you. You are wonderful. You don't know yet. What can you do? What talent do you have? What have you done that people tell you you're very good at? What do you do that people tell you you're very good at? Can you sing or one of those things? What, what is it that you can do? You've been told that you're good at this thing. Because God is telling me something, but I want to confirm from you first before I say it. He's telling me that he wants you to draw closer to him and he wants you to, to do something for him in church. In church. See, the thing with God is <laughs> at some point, he wants you to serve him with all your heart, with everything that he has given you. Sometimes some people, it happens to them when they're in their 20s or in their 30s or in their 40s. But at some point, you can't keep running from it. You have to start giving him all that he has given you back. Like if you can sing, you have to sing in the choir. You can't run from it. If you can stand, you have to be an usher in church. And sometimes unless you do these things, you're always going to struggle. You can go to so many pastors to pray for you. They will tell you the same thing. The same thing. You keep escaping it until you do that. You'll be miserable. Tracy, I'm going to pray with you privately because I see what you're supposed to do. For God. But this is a public video. I'm not going to put it out there. But I pray, oh God, that you forgive her, oh God, and have mercy on her, oh God, and bless her in the name of Jesus. And I'm sure that by the time I'm done praying with her, she will do that which you want her to do in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. All right, guys. I think I've tried. <laughs> I need to go. Let me go pray for some people. Thank you for watching. Feel free to share. I love you guys. May you have a blessed day. May all your heart desires ha, 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 be granted in the name of Jesus. I just feel like praying for you guys. Everything that has made you cry in the past. Begin to be happy now. God will turn your sorrow to happiness in the name of Jesus. He will turn your sorrows to happiness in the name of Jesus. That thing that the devil has planted in your life to make you cry every day. God is going to turn it around for your good and it shall give you a testimony in the name of Jesus. As you have joined me today to worship God, to praise him. Regardless of what you're going through, today will not be forgotten. You will have a testimony in the name of Jesus. I am telling you that today will not be forgotten. He will send his angels to begin to fix whatever situation that it is that you're dealing with. If you're sick, no matter what kind of sickness, I believe that you are healed right now in the name of Jesus. You are healed in the name of Jesus. Yes, you are healed in the name of Jesus. If you're lacking funds, you don't have money. God will open doors for you in the name of Jesus. You will begin to receive phone calls from people that have forgotten about you. Apply for jobs and you will get the job that you desire. Start to apply for jobs. Sometimes when we pray for God to bless us, we have to start walking towards it. When we pray for jobs, we have to start to apply. And he will direct us to the jobs that he wants us to do. So today, if you're looking for a job, I'm telling you to go and start to apply. And God will link you to that job that he wants you to do in the name of Jesus. 
Once you step into that room for the interview, that person will not even ask you so many questions, but God will speak through them and you will be hired in the name of Jesus. Anybody that is sitting on your blessing, ha ha ha. Holy Ghost fire will burn their butt to ashes in the name of Jesus. They will stand up from that set, from wherever they're sitting on. And Father Lord, whatever it is that you feel is necessary to do to them, do to them in the name of Jesus. They did not create you. They have no power over you. You cannot let people have power over you. You have to pray. Pray. Pray like a prayer warrior. Pray. Take your life back. Don't let the devil defeat you. If you're depressed, today I remove that spirit of depression in your heart in the name of Jesus. I replace it with spirit of power, peace, love, spirit of God in the name of Jesus. Anyone that has said that you will never be happy. Oh Lord, I destroy whatever plans that they've set to make that happen. I say, oh God, back to send that they will be sad forever in the name of Jesus and you shall be happy. As long as your heart is pure, your hands are pure, no weapon formed against you shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Anyone that you have done good to, but feels like they have to pay you back with evil. Hey, hey. Anyone you have done good to, but feels like they have to pay you back with evil. God will begin to deal with them right now in the name of Jesus. They will begin to confess. They will be uncomfortable until they make that call and confess in the name of Jesus. Whatever plans, whoever has put anything in your food or whoever has taken your clothes or your picture to go do some kind of voodoo to put you in chains, I begin to free you today from that chains in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire, consume whatever they've done in the name of Jesus. Ha ha ha. I don't know why I feel like praying for you guys today. The devil is wicked. All he wants to do is kill people, destroy them, steal from them. That's why you have to be close to God at all times. Make peace with God. Live righteously. Live a righteous life. And God will fight for you. Do you know that whenever you sleep at night, a lot of things happen? Do you know that evil people come? To your house to do things when you're sleeping? Do you know why you didn't die? Because the angels that God sent to protect you fought for you. And you didn't even know you were just sleeping. If you had to know about all of these stuff, you will never take God for granted. You will be glad that you love God and that he loves you. Because there's so many battles that he fights for you that you don't even know about. Even as you're watching this video, do you know if somebody has tried to send an arrow, an evil arrow to you, and they sent them back to them? You don't know these things, because these are spiritual. That's why you always have to be close to God. There's so many battles. But every time, He fights for you. If you had to fight on your own, you would have been dead long time ago. Long time ago. Long time ago. Don't let anybody deceive you. Don't let anybody deceive you. Even as I'm doing this video, not everybody watching it is happy for me. But whatever thing they plan to do, God has fought for me right now. And I don't even know it. Because he loves what I'm doing. And he's not going to make them, make them stop me from doing it. He is God. They are nobody. When God tells you to do something, do it. If he says pray, pray. If he wakes you up at night to pray, even if you're tired, pray. There's a reason why you were awake to pray. If he says, sing this song right now. Even if you're driving, start to sing that song. There's a reason for it. Obey before complain. Thank you, Lord. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, Jesus. Hi. Thank you, Lord. Oh, my God. <laughs> Alright, let me go. <laughs> That's enough, guys. You guys have a great day, okay? I gotta go. I love you. God bless you. Bye-bye.